Hello and welcome to Open Boosters. We're going to do something a little bit different if you had not seen the title. Yes, yes indeed. As crazy as it sounds, I'm going to ramble for a little bit. I um, wanted to make this video after the acquittal because we all knew he was going to be acquitted. You know, so it's, you know, it's a thing. However, the whole impeachment thing kind of is like a sham. When I was in school, they told us that there's checks and balances. And so, you know, you have the House, the Senate, then the Senate, and the Executive Branch, and that kind of stuff. And they all look after each other to make sure everybody's doing the right thing. But we all know that's a bunch of hooey now. Because, not because he was acquitted, but because of the way it was done, you know, really. Um, whether you're a Republican or a Democrat, or you like Trump or don't like Trump, doesn't really matter. The whole impeachment thing was stupid. Um, because they, they couldn't get an acquittal because they didn't own the house. And they couldn't get a trial because they didn't own the house. They couldn't get anything done because they didn't own the house. Which is, uh, kind of strange, right? Because it should be like, uh, you know, a thing where you'd want to actually have an impeachment in such a way that it wouldn't be run by any particular party. Right? It should be unbiased. Because that's the only way it should be done. I mean, think about it as a real trial. Let's say a murderer shot somebody. Right? When we, we know or think that they shot somebody and they're on trial. Would you have their mother be the judge and their family be the jury? It wouldn't actually make any sense. And that's kind of how the impeachment process worked and it's kind of annoying because when I was younger they told me about the checks and balances and if a, if a president does something wrong they're going to be impeached but it doesn't matter right he could literally do anything he wants because he got he's got one of the houses that just drives me a little bit nuts um doesn't matter if he was a good president and uh he wrote a nasty letter to your grandmother saying he didn't like flowers, then if the Democrats own both houses, they could impeach him, right? Because technically it goes the other way too, right? So, you know, either way, you like Trump, don't like Trump, Democrat, you're a Republican, you got to say the impeachment process sucks because it's stupid. Any idiot can tell you that it's stupid. It doesn't matter. There's no flow. Oh... That, that's what's irksome, because you'd expect at least them to pretend there's a trial or anything like that. This time, <laughs> they just went, you know, we're not going to, we're not going to pretend, we're just going to poop on this. <laughs> you can't even feel like anything was done, because it was just a big giant joke. The whole thing, the whole thing didn't matter to anything, because they couldn't do anything. Neither side, neither side, so it's crazy. I don't like it. I don't like it when there's no check and balance. That doesn't make any sense to me at all. The other thing that doesn't make sense to me, we're just going to move on to topics, right? We have a national debt, and every year they raise that ceiling. Woo, that's fun. But every year they raise the ceiling because we have a national debt, right? And they, you know, all your little candidates are going to come out and say, I've got the solution to nothing, right? I'm going to raise the ceiling this high, or I'm not going to raise it at all, or... You know, I know how to make money, I'm going to take it from the rich, or I'm going to take it from the middle class, or I'm going to take it from other countries and make them pay for stuff. It doesn't really matter what they say, it's all a bunch of nonsense, because that net ceiling is going to rise because no one is going to do anything about it. Fantastic. It's good for us, right? Because as long as that debt ceiling rises, we can't really do anything that we want to really do. You know, like, hey, it would be nice if kids had free health care, wouldn't it? be fantastic. Can't do that with the national debt being so high. So, <laughs> gotta make parents suffer. It's fun. So exciting. But they could actually do that. They could actually help pay off the national debt. Because we are actually a capitalist society. We buy stuff. That is our thing. We buy stuff. We sell stuff. That's what we do. That is what we're based on. We buy other steeple stuff. That's because we like to shop. <laughs> Hence Amazon being so freakishly huge. You know? And you know something we also already know? We can put taxes on stuff. 
Oh my God, that's crazy, right? And if we actually put a luxury tax on stuff that goes straight to paying off the national debt, that might actually pay off the national debt, right? Luxury items, things that uh, really poor people wouldn't buy. Crazy how that sounds, right? So let's say, you know, <laughs> crazy stuff like maybe Magic the Gathering behind me. Magic the Gathering is what this channel is really about, but it's really a luxury item, right? Because you don't really need a Magic the Gathering card. It's cool. You can draw on a piece of regular 52 cards, what the cards are, and play. Technically, from a certain perspective, or just play it on Arena for free and lose every time if you don't put any money in it. But, uh, no, actually, you can win. But it's neither here nor there. I'm sidetracking, sorry. But if you put money into Arena, you can get luxury tax. If you buy Magic the Cat, you can be luxury tax there as well. If you buy Starbucks coffee, I mean, you can make coffee at your house. So sure, we can tax that too. And we can put a percentage tax for a dollar. So maybe three cents on the dollar, you just pay three cents more per dollar, you know? And uh, that could go to the national debt because, I mean, when people wake up, they want Starbucks for some reason. Um, and then, hey, McDonald's is good and Coca-Cola, tax that too. It's fantastic. Don't tax regular food at the grocery store because that wouldn't make any sense. Don't tax medicine, that wouldn't make any sense either. Certain technologies like cell phones we need, the apps we don't. So apps are probably a luxury item, right? We probably need a computer, but we can tax video games and software like that. That wouldn't be a bad idea either. You know, we'd have to go and specifically look at particular items like cars. People need their cars. So anything over 20 grand, 20 grand and above, would be taxed extra as a luxury item. So that would make sense, right? And then, you know, you can go through the entire list of stuff and tax it because we are capitalists. We buy stuff. That's what we do. Somehow we want to look at our next door neighbor and say, hey, I want that too. Make me look that good. I don't know. Even clothing. We can tax name brand clothing and all that kind of stuff, a luxury item that's really expensive. But other clothing lines you don't tax. You just have to have a staff that goes through these items in particular and tax those as luxury items. First class tickets, sure, tax the crap out of them. Coach tickets, nope, don't tax that. They, they don't even serve you food anymore. <laughs> but, you know, you, you can do that. And that's the thing. People buy stuff. And when people buy stuff, you can tax it. And that would bring down the national debt. Be easy, right? Simple. It's what we know how to do. We tax stuff. And the national debt's gone. It's not going to affect poor people. Why? Because they're not going to buy luxury items. <laughs> and when Trump buys an airplane, guess what? It's going to get taxed. Crazy. <laughs> Someone buys a jet, it's going to be taxed. Crazy. You know? Then that's how you can get your money back. And put it towards things that you need to put it towards. You know, like paying off a national debt. You know, we have all the tiny useless items that we have, like the plastic toys or whatever, and we tax it. It's, it makes sense. It's, it's good logic. And it's structure. We can levy taxes and business can pay taxes because that's what ta businesses do. They pay taxes. And that would bring down the national debt. And then maybe we can think about giving free health care to kids, you know, putting performance to the arts, you know, money where it's supposed to be that can actually help people. Help people. That'd be crazy. All right. I mean, that's it. I mean, it makes sense, right? But you're going to hear a lot of weird stuff like, you know, we're going to make the one percenters pay for everything. And we're going to go through their all their assets that they can't physically hide anywhere or devalue. <laughs> They can't devalue it, right? I have a big giant artwork. That's five dollars. Come on, five bucks. All you gotta do is find an appraiser guy who will, you know, devalue it <laughs> or just spill coffee on it. I don't know. The whole thing is weird and strange. But I'm really kind of irritated about the whole check and mouse thing. Because there's no check and mouse. All right, I'm gonna give you your video that's gonna make up for this one, I promise. All right, hit the like button, subscribe, make a comment, uh, and if you wanna share this, you can. All right, talk to you again real soon.